Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com here with a brief overview of the medication hydrochlorothiazide. Hydrochlorothiazide uh, in the U.S. was sold under the brand name Microzide. It's no longer the brand name is no longer produced, often abbreviated as HCTZ. Um, it is what's known as a thiazide diuretic or what some people just call a water pill. Typically, we see it used to treat high blood pressure, and sometimes we use it, or we see it used to treat edema or swelling, fluid retention. Hydrochlorothiazide dosing, it's available in tablets and capsules. The capsule is just 12 and a half milligrams, whereas the tablets 12 and a half, 25, and 50 milligram are available. Uh, for edema or swelling, generally um, starting at 25 to 100 milligrams daily, maxing out at 200 milligrams per day. Again, typically not your, your um, drug of choice for edema. High blood pressure, by far what we generally see uh, hydrochlorothiazide used most for. Started out at 12 and a half to 25 milligrams once per day, and the blood pressure dosing we're maxing out at 50 milligrams per day. It is uh, It can be taken with or without food, and we it's best taken in the morning, early in the day. Some of the side effects we can see from HCTZ, hydrochlorothiazide, generally mild. Most people tolerate it pretty well. Of course, it can cause low blood pressure. Anything that affects our blood pressure can sometimes take it too low, and we can get that dizziness headache. Uh, it can increase calcium and uric acid in the body. We can see a decrease in magnesium, potassium, and sodium. Also, nausea, constipation, and loss of appetite can occur. Uh, important thing to note, it, it can increase sun sensitivity, so one could burn easier in the sun, and uh, impotence has been reported, although not common. Rare side effects can include a severe rash, heart and liver problems, and pancreatitis. Extremely rare, but they can occur. Hydrochlorothiazide warnings uh, to keep in mind. It may increase gout. So if you have a history of gout, this may not be the drug of choice for you as it can increase uric acid levels in the body. Also, we can sometimes see uh, blood glucose levels increased. Um, some, of course, we would monitor if you're a diabetic and if it increases your blood sugars too much, you may need to change to a different medication. Increased risk of skin cancer seems to come from the photosensitivity, how this makes your skin more sensitive to sun. Um, that's, we've noted an increase in skin cancer, non-melanoma skin cancer with HCTZ use. And it can also affect your electrolytes as we touched on a little bit in the side effects. So just a few things, always, we always wanna monitor our blood pressure when we're taking medicine for blood pressure. Just a good idea to make sure it's working. Uh, your provider will order labs to monitor those electrolytes and monitor for other side effects as well. Again, it's best taken early in the day so we're not up uh, during the night using the restroom as it is a water pill. Uh, it, it is often combined with other blood pressure medications, kind of a synergistic effect. We see it used a lot with lisinopril, losartan, um, uh, it's best to avoid alcohol as that can cause dehydration and it's best to avoid NSAIDs. NSAIDs, ibuprofen, naproxen, those sort of things uh, are best avoided with this medication. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe.